What's up, guys? It's King Daddy D Mac, and welcome! Welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved! That's right, we're playing here with Ark Eternal! Having so much fun doing flips! My goodness, how's everybody doing today? Hope you're doing well, because me, I'm doing pretty amazing. Yeah, we've really been coming along in this mod a lot faster than I thought we would. Thanks to these insane tribute dinos, such as our Starburst. Yeah, who just destroys everything. But um, anyway, yeah, last episode, we got ourselves an infertile space whale. Yeah. Really wasn't that amazing. I mean, all things considered, we got like some end game stuff pretty early on. So not really fair, but you know, it's cool and it does deserve a name. So it will be getting a name at the end of the episode. Hope you guys uh, leave something in the comments form. But anyway, yes, we also got Blackie Don, which is yet another tribute dino, but this one is quite special. Um, I shrunk them down using the shrinking mod. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Shrink down normal size. Bow. And then I can go shrink dino size. Oh, come on, do it. There we go. Bow. So he doesn't take up as much room. It's part of the HG mod. But anyway, look at this. It's insane. It's all of a sudden, I must have had it done wrong. It crafts extremely fast. So. Yeah, we probably have all the Apex trophies we need. It just makes it off a rock. So pretty cool. What we are lacking, though, and by the way, what I'm trying to be able to do is I'd like to summon in all of the vanilla bosses so we can beat them, get everything unlocked. Um, unfortunately, we need artifacts for that, and I could just go out and gather them like normal, but I came across, I think it was in here, other the bionic giga yeah this bad boy it says it will craft element shards and artifacts so i've been kind of curious about that i think we should experiment with it why don't we get enough forks i think it's not a guarantee that we get it let's see uh let's try with four at first so that's everything we would need to get four don't you worry i'm not about to craft it in my base i know that would be extremely stupid let's go ahead grab this all right, and let's see if we can get ourselves a Bionic Giga. Now, I think to tame them, I'm not positive. Oh, I, I, it might be this. Yeah, I think it's the Futuristic Orb. Um, I don't know if I need more than one, though, is the problem. Do we have more? I thought we had more. Yes, we have two Futuristic Orbs. Okay, can we even make these? Highly Poisonous. I think it's a drop only. You, come on. Oh, we can craft it. Okay, from ancient orbs. All right, good to know, good to know. Um, In any case, hopefully two will be enough. Who knows, we'll find out. But let's get to a good area. Crap, and I also forgot. Let me grab, did I grab the thing for it? I am cluster brain today. All right, we grabbed it. Let's go see if we can do it. The hard mode may be too hard. We may have to uh, backstep on that. But let me look for an area where we can do all these summonings. And guys, let me remind you, if you're enjoying the series, to show that amazing support by slamming that thumbs up button. It helps me out oh so much. And if you're new to the channel or you haven't yet, seriously, what are you waiting for? It is the perfect time to subscribe also be sure to come check out the discord come be part of the mac pack if you want to play along with us remember we do have the member server for all of you youtube members and twitch subscribers both are welcome anyway um where should we do this all right let me find a spot and we'll be right back Ooh, you know what? I think this should work pretty well yeah in the desert nice open spot to do the fight all right, let's just see how far back this goes. Oh yeah, we got plenty of plenty of space. All right, beautiful. Let's go ahead, park our butts right over here. Hey, little beetles. Get! Oh, this owl is just too good. All right, so uh, what is going to happen here is it is going to summon in 
the Giga. We have to destroy, defeat the first Giga, and then I believe it might, if if we uh, if we complete it, it might uh, spawn in a tameable version. So let's see how it goes. I thought I pulled enough for four. Why did it only? Oh well. We may only get one try at this. This might not be enough. All right, let's back off a little bit. I'm hoping that there's a better chance of it spawning by doing the hard mode. That's actually my reasoning behind it. But of course, not everyone may be powerful enough to take on a hard mode one. All right, come on. We're gonna we gonna do this today, bro. Yeah! All right, all right. Whoa, mama. Okay. So, um, t only a 10% spawn chance. Yuck. Uh-oh. Uh, hard mode might have been too hard. Just saying. Oh, my lord. Yeah, I think this was too hard. Its resistance is so much. All right, good mental note. Um, either way, I am going to uh, do my best to defeat this guy. Good God. I'll do my best. It'll take me probably an hour, but we'll get it done. And if we don't get it, we will. Oh, it better take less than an hour. We only have 44 minutes. Then we'll go and try the other. No, I don't know what happened, guys. I don't know what happened. I was fighting this stupid thing for probably about 30 minutes. It had still like 10 minutes left on the timer. And um, it just straight up disappeared. It was almost like I was so close to beating it. So close. I was about to clip in to show you guys. And then it's just poof, gone. I don't know what the crap. This really sucks. I just wasted like 20, 30 minutes of my life that I will never get back. And I have nothing to show for it. This sucks. So I think moral of the story is um, we're not ready for hard mode, guys. We could do it, maybe. But we're, we're probably not ready for it. So let's go see. Wow. Oh. Let's go see what exactly uh, we need if we want to take on a non-hard mode. All right. So, by the way, how are you doing, Blackie Don? Holy crap. That's a lot. That is so crazy. All right. Um, so I put back the thing. Let's go ahead and check this out. So this is the non-hard mode. Let's go to summons, other... And boom, wait, Pr what? I, I have, I have tons of that stuff. What are you talking about? I have so much. Ooh, except that's just dino blood. Uh oh, uh oh. You mean I wasted this stuff? So there's that dino blood and then there's this stuff. No. I don't have enough to even summon in another. Why? All right. Um, this is problems. We got to figure out how we can get this stuff faster. I think you get like one per thing that you kill. That's that type. But we just wasted. <laughs> this sucks even worse than I thought that it sucks. Oh, so we can't even summon another. So it's back to the drawing board. I guess I could grind out guys. To be able to, but there might be other ways. Um, let's see. Is there any way to craft it? No, I can craft normal, but with the narcot. Oh, this sucks. All right, maybe there's like a jug bug or something that can craft it. I can't think of anything else. All right. Um, well then, that really kind of puts things into a bad spot. I really wanted to get a Giga today to check out the artifacts, but I don't think that's going to be a thing. So, um, I guess we're back to taming. There is other things that I'd like to tame. Oh, but I really wanted that Giga. Um, why don't I go over for a hot minute and just see if we can get any other summon in stuff. I'm going to go over here and do a whole resurrected fight and who knows 
It'll probably take me about an hour of fighting if we get a lot of summoning shenanigans, but that's how you get the cool stuff. Plus, we'll hopefully get a whole bunch more blood. Let's go. Ooh, look at that. We got another mystical pick. All right, pretty dang cool. There's, of course, a lot of other things that I kind of glazed over. We really do need to get ourselves an Anki, a Dodic, and then all the uh, little blood jug bug things. But, um, yeah, there's a lot of resurrected over here today. Why don't we go ham for a bit? And who knows, we might end up with something super duper cool in the meantime. Let's go. Come on. Oop, I was hitting control instead of Q. Get ready for it. Boom. Ooh, look at that. See, we learned something. Indominus Do- oh, What the crap is this? Indominus Dodo Reaper? I've never seen that before. Oh, I kind of want that. I kind of want that. Uh, this way, bro. Oh, crap. Can we get away from everything else in time to be able to tame this? Come on. All right, we're pulling this guy. Dude, this would be an epic tame. Oh, heck yeah. All right, all right. I can fly again now. Whenever they do that stuff, it makes me fly super slow. Oh, so it's an Indominus tier. Oh, okay, good. I can... Oh, it was letting me fly fast for a moment. Whoa. All right, I think we need to be on our wolf to get this guy knocked out. Um, we obviously did a little bit of torpor with, uh, this dude, but... Oh, this is so cool. All right, uh, let's go ahead and grab all that. Let's swap mounts real quick. Oh, don't get me, bro. Crap, I can't tell what's what. Um... Doom Doggo, is that the one? Yeah, Doom Doggo. All right. All right, all right. Doom Doggo should do the top amount of Torpor. Oh, I can't remember what move is the Torpor one, though. All right, it's control. All right, come here. Where are you? Pop out, Dota Reaper. Oh, I actually should go back and get a prime meat at the base. Whoa. Dude, is it just invisible? Look at, I see you down there, bro. All right, I'm gonna teleport back to the base and get a prime meat, and then we'll we'll come in and finish this guy. All right, we're back. Come on, bro. Oh, we got it, we got it, you got it. Oh, good job, Dark Doggo. Or what's his name? Doom Doggo. All right, you just stay there, bro. Oh, Indominus. All right. Bada boom. And we got it. See, I told you guys it would all work out. It always seems we get the best results and we just go in and start to fight stuff. Dude, it is so cool. This is a creature I've never had before. Um, Let me go find out. Now, the, the hard part, by the way, is you need something that can do Torpor to the Indominus, but... That dark, uh, the, the dog, the river princess, princess of the river. Yeah, it can do torpor to pretty much everything. So let's go see if we can get a saddle or something and let's go try it out. All right, we are golden. It uses a reaper saddle. Yeah, or excuse me, reaper saddle. It uses a dodo alpha wyvern saddle. Oh my goodness. I cannot talk today. But yes, this is what it uses, threw in a saddle stone, and uh, yeah, I'm pretty pleased with this guy. I think it is going to be awesome. And you know what? Let's go ahead and get him imprinted immediately. Let's go hop on up. Come on, buddy, bro. And let's get those imprints going. So, bada boom, and... Bada boom. And this will be fun. While we're leveling this guy up, I can try and get more of the prime blood. Uh, we got to figure out how we get that. I'm, I'm thinking that it's got to be from... 
I don't know, maybe one of those jug bugs. So I went ahead, I did craft up some more different types of tranking shenanigans in case we do happen to come across a jug bug that we can use. But let's see. Are we all good? Yep, all good. I wonder if he takes fall damage. Oh, it does, but not very much. All right, beautiful. Let's go ahead and use a health thing. And let's scoop him real quick and throw him back out just to make sure it's fully updated with all the new stats. Love it. Oh, man, it's so cool. It's actually like changes colors a little bit. And look at the legs, like especially. It, it's really neat. Neat effect, neat effect. So Dominus tier, I guess in some ways, technically our snow owl is, it says that it copies all the Dominus tier stuff. So it's not going to be above the snow owl, but pretty good damage, pretty good damage. Oh man. All right. Let's try right click. Boom. All right. Does that do anything else? Of course, it's going to make them land. Let's see. Is there an X, a control, a Q? Oh, and we got a fire roar. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. Come here, little dodo. And tail web. Let me see. Is there anything else? Q, O, C. Yeah, C is the tail web. And come on, fire. Fire. Do the fire. It was, oh yeah, it was with the roar. All right, buddy, bro. Dude, these dodos are so ridiculous. There we go. Oh, that fire is good. Oh, that does a lot. All right, tail whip them. All right, and we got dino blood. Oh, this prime blood might be, oh, did we not defeat him yet? Oh, a spectral dodo? What the crap? Oh, we didn't defeat the uh, prime dodo yet. There we go. What's up with this spectral dodo? Um, spawns killing prime. Re interesting. Uh, knockouts. Okay. Uses why this guy's probably actually pretty good too. Holy crap! Look at all these dudes. It's one of the otters. Ooh, prime otter. Sorry, bro. I already got a tame for today. We'll have to we'll have to wait for next time for you. All right, let's go spin around. Look at him go. Oh, dang, dude. Freeze me and everything. Get back. Crap. All right, next time we push him back. Oh, this would go better if I actually had more levels in. All right, let's go run away. I forgot to put in a hell, uh, XP booster too, of course. How's the jump on this guy? All right, it does have a power-up jump. It looks like maybe. Yep, and... Dude, it jumps so high. That is awesome. All right, how are we doing on levels? Only got 30 in there. Let's go ahead. Give it some level boosting. Go away. Everybody, leave me alone. Yikes. All right. And let's start to boost that melee. It doesn't look like it's going to have a move that's going to make it as strong as the owl or something like that. But, you know, honestly, I don't think many things in this mod will. That was just kind of uh, a lucky, lucky thing that we got. But, no, this guy's going to be decently strong. Definitely, uh, definitely fun. Bro. All right. Anyway, I'm going to keep on running around and having fun. And I'll come back once we're nearing max attack. All right. We have done it. Yes. J just about done it. I'm going to do it with you. Um, I should have. Let's just look at the guy's stats. I should already have it at 255. Just got to put in those last little bits into the health. So overall, um, it's a pretty good creature. I do like it. Definitely not as strong as what our snow owl and such are, but just taking a look, it's hitting for 223 
thousand, which is not bad. It's by far best move though is the laser. Yeah. Um, and that's because uh, it's it's a little hard to aim at smaller stuff. Let's see. And once you start, oh, there we go. You can move a little bit. It does that same amount of damage, more or less, than the normal bike does, but it does it like per tick of the laser. So hypothetically, if we were to go against something big, it can do a fair amount of damage pretty quickly. I mean, each hit with the laser is what quarter mil so i don't know overall it might be decent it's still questionable i don't know if we could really use it to go up against mythicals um especially not those that have damage resistance um but it, i mean it seems pretty hardy why don't we re okay well here's a guy this guy's gonna be kind of obnoxious because it is very hard to hit small things with the laser but let's see if we can do it. Oh, it's see what I mean? It's it's super difficult to aim it. Oh, come on. Yeah, that. W oh, did we get this guy already? Hey, we got him. That's pretty cool. Should we, should we try another? Oh, let's hold on. Let's pick this up. Thank you. And I have got, by the way, quite a bit of prime blood, not a ton. It still is a little bit of a rare drop, but I mean, look at that, dude. It's not bad now that we have it maxed out. All right, um, right, let's grab this stuff and come here and give me the rest. All right, let's grab that stuff Um, just, just for kicks. Let's go over to the scary place. Where we tame this guy, mind you, and let's just see how it adds up. Now, once again, the problem is you can't just fight one. You know, as soon as you finish with one, a new one spawns in, and then another new one, and I don't think this guy could take the repeated beatings like some of our other dudes can, but it's a super fun mount overall. I kept wishing, and maybe it does, maybe it does have another stronger move that I'm not aware of but it doesn't quite seem like it. And as I recall, Indominus, they're pretty good, but they're not the end-all, be-all tier. Now, the next thing I didn't really take notice of. Hold on, let's toss this guy out what, right now when it's not that busy. Did it give me rider protection? Okay, notice that. I'm not getting rider protection while on this guy, which that in itself could be a pretty big problem. So, you know, just taking note. Anyway, um, let's go over here. Uh, this Bronto. Let's see if I can nail him. And let's see how hard. So 3.6 mil. Look at that melt. See, melted him. Not a problem. Not a problem taking on resurrected guys. So that's cool. Whoa, 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 whoa. Or resur yeah, resurrected. Except when they're little ones like this, they're hard to hit. Come on. All right, let's try and get out of here. Yo! But I guess that's why we have our jump. And we did take uh, a bit more damage. Oh, seriously, bro? You can just run up the hill like that? Don't do me like that. All right, we got our health potions, though. All right, any more? So on big guys, I think it's pretty cool. Um, I think I'd be a little afraid to take on a mythical. I think we could survive it, but it's just not ideal. But cool Reaper. It's super fast. It's got most of the good moves, but definitely better against bigger dinos. These little raptors suck. And let's see. I'm going to turn around and try and get them. Yeah, it's just too hard to be able to get them right in our crosshair. All right, fair enough. Let's get the crap out of here. All right, you did good, Reaper. I'm proud of you. And of course, this in itself would be pretty game changing if we did not yet have those other better tribute dinos. Oh, it kind of spoiled it for us. I got to say, kind of spoiled it for us. I will say, though, I have not gotten a single other better tribute since that one day when we got all the good ones. So kind of funny. All right, guess we're just super lucky like that.
Um, next up, let's uh, let's just grab this stuff. I'm gonna get back to the base. I went ahead and I crafted up. Look at that, a ton of prime darts, so that we can knock out those uh, little jug bugs. And I also want to make something else special with you now that we have the prime blood. I found something else, super useful that uh, we might like. So let me get everything put away. I'll meet you right back. All right, next up. I've been really curious about this. Um, This is ungodly expensive, but I, I spent the time doing the grind to finally get this prime poison pike, which I'm gonna be so sad if we get one of these in a random drop later, because holy crap, was it expensive. So this sucker, to make the final one, we need 25 poison or prime blood, which you know how rare and expensive that is. It's not that bad, but we don't have a way of obtaining it other than just spending hours grinding. Um, it cost 25 taming potion, which believe you me, it's not super cheap. It's not super expensive, but you know, you got to grind it out. But the 10 prior tier pikes, which is then this one. Well, this is five poison pikes each so that's that's already five times ten that means i had to make 50 poison pikes in order to get this thing and the poison pike well not ridiculous it's a lot it's a real lot plus this for each step was 10 of the taming po uh, potions so anyway we now have the prime blood. I'm going to spend it on this over the giga just because I'm curious. I really want to see how good this thing is. Also, mind you, this is the primitive version of this. <laughs> it would be so ungodly expensive to try and upgrade it. So I'm hoping that it's not even necessary, but I'm just I'm really curious. It looks like this does not have a durability to it. I, I got to see how powerful this thing is like seriously. Oh, that's super fail. Dude, the crystal pike has durability. I never even noticed that. They, he should switch it around, but all right. It's got a little bit of a different look to it. This thing better do ungodly amounts of torpor, though, with how uh, costly it is. I'm assuming that tame remover two is uh, or the taming potions probably means that it starves them out. But this uh, is basically what we can use to do by hand prime tier torpor uh, it's not that much i'll be honest with you it probably do more if we upgraded it how much damage did it actually do it did a lot of damage too i mean not like insane amounts but all right now why don't we load up a prime dart let's see what that does these are Way less expensive. Let's see how much torpor this bad boy does. Now, of course, yes, this is out of an upgraded long neck, but way more damage. It's still not a heck of a lot of torpor. I mean, it, of course, it's got to go up over time. And this guy does have a lot of torpor. Ooh, look at that when you got a headshot. All right, I'm kind of curious about the pike. Is that, can I hit him in the head for more? Yeah, not ideal. Uh, in all honesty, don't necessarily think it's worth it. Does knock out a basic Pteranodon. What about this guy? Come here. I mean, it's, it's doing Torpor. But I would not call it an insane amount for how pricey it is. I'd have to hit this guy a lot of times. And as I said, I do not want to upgrade this thing. Oh, no. Ooh. Those things usually give good drops and stuff. Alpha Summoner. All right. So, but I'm thinking this might be a handy tool when we go to find the Jug Bugs, which is what I actually want to go after next. So, so much fun riding around. We are so fast with this armor. Let's see if we can find some jug pugs to tame. All right, I think, I think, I think I found what we're uh, looking for here. Look at this, Eternal Prime Blood Jug Bug. 
Yeah, I think this is exactly it. So let's let's see what this little. I don't know if it's gonna kill it. Come on. Whoa, go away. Uh oh, it's meat boosted. All right. How are we doing here? All right. All right, this works. Come here, bro. Oh my goodness, what is a uh, dragonfly? Stay away, dragonfly. Seriously, compies, go away. All right, we're getting there. We're getting there. I can probably, oops, I didn't mean to eat that. I can probably hit it with these darts too. And is that going to be enough? Come on, dart, hurry the crap up. And yes. All right, we got to hurry up with this. All right, so it's, wait, how many does it say? Crap, I think it said 11. But 11 of which one? I think it's got to be this one, right? All right, tame, tame, tame. Ooh, look at how fast the torpor goes down on this guy. All right, hurry the crap up. Yeah! All right, take resource. Oh, it did. It gave prime blood. All right, um, right, let's get it packed up. And let's get the crap home. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Boom. Yeah, so I think this is going to be what we need. Now, they have ones like this for the hearts, for the DNA, for the blood, and for quite a few other things as well. Now, what I don't remember, I know uh, the mod author was working on it. But what I can't remember is if it now works in the these things. It might. It might. And I guess that's what we'll uh, check. I think there is some way to have it automate. But if it doesn't, and traditionally the way you do it is just you'd have to wait. You see the resource. It fills up to a total of 200. But if I go ahead and take, boom, gave me one prime blood. So I'm not sure. Let me see. Gave me, I think, none right there. I'm not sure how high it has to go before you can take one. I was hoping it would be uh, one to one. Maybe it's every, let's see. Nope, didn't give me any there. It might have to be at 10. And then it would give you a total of 20, perhaps. That could be a thing. I don't know. Yeah, that makes sense because we only just got one before. In the initial time when I did it, it probably gave us 20. All right, sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Anyway, uh, hope, hopefully it will work in a station, which let me go to options, automation, let's go passive generation and miscellaneous poo generation. Um, I don't want to go poo though, because that will make all the other dinos do stuff. So we'll see what happens. We'll see if we actually get any prime blood from it. But we'll have to check back tomorrow. In either case, that's a lot of prime blood pretty quickly, in all honesty. I mean, you got to remember, what we used before was everything I would got this entire season. So this stuff's a little slow going. But hopefully now we have a farm for it that's renewable. So yeah, I'm happy. Anyway, guys, on that note, let's go through those comments. All right, guys, I just finished going through the comments, and yes, it is now that time. That's right, time to name the dinos. For those of you that do not know, at the end of every single episode, I go through the comments of the previous episode. And I pick out all the most awesome name suggestions that you guys leave in the down there. That's right. Just remember, if you want to have a chance of getting your name chosen, you got to be a subscriber. So smash that subscribe button. And yeah, just comment down below. It is just that easy. Anyway, for today, we have the Infernal Snow Owl, uh, Snow Owl, Infernal Space Whale to name, and the Kangaroo. And their names will be none other than Bubbles. Love it. And uh, I can't see it from here. Uh, it's Hopper. Yes, for the Blackie Don. 
for next time. Uh, we're not going to even bother naming the jug bug, I don't think. But we need a name for our Indominus Dodo Reaper. That's right. So help me out in the comments below, guys. But anyway, thank you all so very much for watching. It has been a pleasure. As you always do, please remember to show that amazing support for the series by smashing that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel or you haven't yet, please do not forget to subscribe for the Daily Arc Awesomeness. And as always, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks again and peace out.